Hi, I'm Brittany from Brittany's Art Vibes, and today I'm going to be drawing the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. Alright, so the first thing I like to do is just get a general layout of the face. So I start with the general shape and the hair, and then I map out where the eyes go on the face, where the nose goes, and also where the lips go. So then I start adding some detailing to the eyes, just adding some shading that I'll use for landmarks later on, um, and just those really dark areas on the face. And then I go in with a paper towel to blend the larger areas and a blending stub to start blending in those um, smaller areas. So um, that's a blending stub and a paper towel. I'm just adding some shadow here to the eyes and making sure that I'm checking my reference image pretty often. Um, that's something that is really, really helpful. To the right of the nose, there is a shadow. That's pretty much always there, so you, you want to put that in there. Um, I'm also starting to add some shading to the lips. One trick for drawing lips is just to remember that if the lips were in three different sections, it would be about one-third of that section for the top lip and two-thirds would be the width for the bottom. Um, and now I'm going in here and just adding some more values. Um, I'm moving between a 2B, um, a 4, a 6, and an 8B for this. So the darkest areas I'm using that 8B, um, and then the lighter areas, those smaller numbers. At this point I'm just marking in where the hair goes. Um, when the curl is going away from us, it's going to be a little darker, and when the curl is coming towards us, it'll be lighter. making sure that I get that contouring in underneath the cheekbone and blending out those sections of the hair with my blending stub and my paper towel. I did not use um, graphite powder in this or charcoal, but if you're ever wanting to get really, really dark, um, even darker than an 8B, those are two options that you can use. Um, I would not recommend using graphite powder on an easel though because the powder will just fall right out. But if you want to work on the table, then graphite powder is definitely something you can do. I went ahead and just stuck with my 8B, even though I can't get super duper dark with it, um, but it was good enough for me in this instance. So I'm adding that kind of veil on the Mona Lisa that we see in our reference painting, um, just kind of outlining it with a dark line and then shading it in really nicely with graphite. Um, you just saw me use a brush. Um, you can also use brushes to blend in your graphite um, versus using a paper towel or blending step. Sometimes a brush is really nice to use. And then in this section, I'm using a mall stick, but I'm really using like a broomstick um, for the purpose of it. But it's just so I can lean my hand on something and not smudge my paper. Um, so you don't want to lean your hand on your artwork while you're working on it. You can blend it all together and make it all smudgy looking. So I like to use that stick. You can also use a piece of paper. Like I said, if you're working on a table, it's a little different. Um, if you're working on a table, you can use a piece of paper. But since I'm working on an upright easel, I use my mall stick. Um, let's go ahead and get started on the clothing now. Um, I don't pay particularly a lot of attention to the clothing. I'm a lot more interested in the facial features and the expression of my portraits, but it is nice um, so it looks finished to put the clothing in. Um, so basically I'm just laying down some ground color and blending it out. Same thing with the um, chest area of the Mona Lisa is I'm just putting like some soft chalk or some soft graphite and blending it all in and then creating the form with my kneaded eraser. Um, that's something else that's really really helpful for this. So for this artwork um, all I really used oh and right now I'm just gessoing the background but for the drawing portion of this I just use um, like about five different graphite pencils, blending stub, kneaded eraser, a paintbrush to blend with, and um, a paper towel.
Okay, so um, now that my background is gessoed, I'm just going in with a light green acrylic to do the background because it does take a long time to um, can, like absolutely cover a background with graphite. So I went ahead and opted for using an acrylic paint. Um, and if you're wondering what kind of um, sketchbook I used on this, it is a colored pencil paper from Strathmore. So um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I do stream at twitch.tv slash art vibes, A-R-T-V-I-B-E-S. Um, feel free to visit me over there. Um, I do stream Monday to Friday um, very often. Um, I'm on Twitch a lot. I also have an Instagram and the Instagram account is Brittany's Art Vibes. It's B-R-I-T-T-A-N-Y-S Art Vibes. And that's my Instagram account for my traditional art. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.